Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be working on my own nails. We are going to be testing out some new bits. I'm just letting you guys know there's gonna be a shocking moment in this video. So, we're gonna be testing out these new Kiara Sky cuticle and prep bits. I'm super excited to share all my thoughts on these products with you guys. Along with that, we're gonna be doing a very simple transition from my last set to this current design. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learn a ton. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, I am starting off by using the all new 5-in-1 bits from Kiara Sky. I'm using this amazing one in the color rose gold. I have my e file at a speed of 10 to 11,000 RPMs. And I'm going to be focusing on removing that current design that I have with the top coat. For that process, it is suggested to use that middle section of the bit. So that is what I'm using. I'm using the medium grit portion along with the tip of the bit, which is fine. So I'm using kind of a combination of both to fully remove that top coat and design. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the rest of my nails. Then we're gonna be prepping my nails for our fill. Now the first step to prep my nail for our fill is to use a sanding band along with my mandrel bit. I now have moved my speed for my e-file down to 4000 RPMs and I'm just quickly taking that bit to go along the natural nail that is exposed very very carefully while removing any lifting I may have and at the same time I'm using this bit to push back that cuticle to expose a little bit more of my natural nail basically taking the spot of a cuticle pusher it's just my preference you can absolutely use a cuticle pusher if you prefer to do that with that step so I'm just gonna quickly finish filing off or should I say buffing off that shine and again removing any lifting that I may have I made my bed and now I lay my head in it and I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best you know the worst now for our next step, I am going to be taking the filleting bit from the Kiara Sky Prep Bits and I'm just taking that, going around using it as a needle bit to kind of clean up that excess dead skin that I may have missed with my other bit. And I am just quickly doing that still at 4000 RPMs on my e-file and I'm trying to be very careful with these because they are new. And I did also want to mention that these are all in coarse grit. I'm not quite sure if they have any other grits available, but these are all coarse. Now I'm taking the tapered barrel bit. This one is in medium grit, and I actually feel like I could have used this in place of my mandrel bit. I believe that's actually what this is for, so definitely should have checked before I used my sanding band, but I'm just quickly going over it again just to make sure that I push back that cuticle and get everything fully out, nice and buffed for our fill. I'm no good at being good, but I never said I was. 
Now we're taking the cuticle ball bit. This one is very much so bigger than the one I'm used to using. This one is also in coarse. And now I did move my speed up to 5,000 RPMs because that's typically my comfort speed. Now I did wanna go ahead and mention that this is the point where I knew I messed up, okay? <laughs> so not only is this bit in coarse grit, but I also moved my speed up to 5,000 RPMs. That is the perfect speed for my old bits. However, I did not take into consideration that these are new. And I just went in with my regular process, but this is why I always try things on myself before I use them on my clients. I now know that this is a lot stronger um, and I have to be extra careful with it. So my recommendation to you is put it at a lower speed, so 4,000 RPMs. Use extremely light pressure and make sure you're not going over the surface too much. I honestly didn't even notice that I had cut myself until later on in the video. And you guys will definitely be able to notice what I'm talking about. So I'm just quickly taking my five in one bit and I'm using the coarse part of that bit to kind of trim my nails down. And I'm pretty sure at this point is when I noticed that I cut myself. So just bear with me. Now you guys kind of know what happened. I didn't feel it at all, otherwise I would have stopped filing. I was just filing my normal process, taking off, you know, my dead skin, and then all of a sudden it just got really red and started bleeding. Always be careful with these bits for sure, especially when you're first starting to use them. I will definitely be a lot more cautious next time. But I'm taking my bit to kind of reshape the nail. This is kind of what that middle section is used for as well, so I figured I would give it a go. I, however, was terrified to continue to use it on my other fingers as I don't have much control with just one hand. If I'm working on a client, I can sturdily hold their finger and file it with the other hand, but because I'm working on myself, I was able to do my thumb and then the rest of the nails I decided to just do with my hand file, but it definitely works amazing for that process as well. So now I'm taking my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and we're gonna be filing the sides and just kind of reshaping those nails as I did trim them lightly. So now I want to reshape them. Now once I'm done reshaping those nails, I'm taking the Kiara Sky lint-free wipes and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, thoroughly cleaning the surface of my nails, especially that natural nail area, to fully dehydrate it. And I'm just going in again to make sure that it is nice and clean. Now we're going in with our primer. This is the XXX Bond from Not Polish. And I'm just really scrubbing that in, making sure that I get all that natural nail portion fully coated. Now for our acrylic application, I am using the Not Polish Acrylic Brush in a size 12, along with that I'm using their monomer as well. Now for this set, I wanted to change it up a little bit from the shimmer color that I currently had on my nails. So to do so, because my nails are extremely short and very thin, I like to do them extremely thin on myself. I am able to just go in with a different color Infill it, blend it down towards the tip, and you can barely even see the shimmer that I had on previously. So I'm just taking first nude from Not Polish, and we're gonna be infilling that growth area and just blending it down towards the tip, cleaning up any areas that may 
have over spilled and because I feel like I was trying to avoid that cut I spilled more acrylic in there but it was fine it honestly didn't even get any monomer on it so we were good to go I'm just gonna go ahead and infill the rest of my nails now for the rest of this process I figured I owe you guys kind of a review and comment on those new bits I absolutely do really like them I feel like they have given me the cleanest cuticle area that I have gotten since doing all my prep but I also haven't replaced my old bits so that might have a little bit to do with it however they are extremely good I love the grit on them of course I did have slight user error but that was all on me definitely not had anything to do with the bits whatsoever so definitely recommend them give them a try they definitely get the job done and I will definitely be using these from now on so I'm just going to finish off my fill and we are getting into our filing process. Again, we're going to be taking that new 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. Typically just using that top of that bit as it is fine grit and it's going to smooth everything out nicely. This is perfect for sealing that cuticle area and just tapering it in very nicely, making sure that it's nice and flush to your natural nail, which is key to prevent lifting. So make sure you guys are doing that. I'm going to go ahead again around that cuticle area and then just file the surface all the way down towards the tip. Now I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and we're going to be filing the sides and making sure that I'm reshaping those nails. Just very, very gently as I already shaped them in the beginning, I'm just going to tighten everything up very nicely. So this is a very quick process. taking the Kiara Sky Buffer, I'm just going to quickly buff the surface of my nail in prep for our nail art. And you guys can kind of see the pigments in the background that I'm going to be using. I did originally want to use Mylar on my nails, but I didn't have my pink one. I couldn't find it. So I ended up looking through my drawers and found these chrome pigments that I haven't used in forever. So I figured I would share them with you guys. We're going to be using the Kiara Sky Rub on Top Coat. And I'm going to fully coat the surface of my nails or the nails that I'm going to be rubbing on that chrome with. And then we're going to be placing that in the Kiara Skylight for the 15 second option. Just flash curing this gel and then we're going to be going in with that chrome powder. Once we're out of the light, I'm just taking one of my pigment brushes and I'm dipping it into the color that I chose. And we're just kind of pressing that in the tip and kind of flickering it up to create kind of an ombre effect. Super, super easy, very, very simple, and it just adds that perfect amount of shimmer to that surface. I am obsessed with the color, but it definitely comes with a ton, as you can see in the little container, and they are all absolutely beautiful. So again, per usual, I forgot that I was recording and I started putting my decals and then I remembered. So here I'm sharing with you guys the decals that I'm using. These are from Profiles Backstage, as all my other decals are. I absolutely love them. So I'm just kind of picking out pink toned lips. And we're just going to layer that on to that ring finger as an accent nail. And I feel like this is such a super easy, cute design. It'll look good in every color and any length of nail for sure. So I'm just kind of picking through, choosing a smaller one, and we're gonna be adding that third one to my nail. And always make sure you kind of really press that into the surface so that it lays extremely flat. Now that we're done with our super simple and easy to recreate design, we're gonna go in with our top coat. This is the Not Polished Glosset 
top coat. Yes, I'm doing shiny, you guys. You should be proud of me. But I figured shimmer would be perfect with this top coat. So we're going to be top coating these nails very, very thin, but making sure we're coating the entire surface, especially on that nail with the decals. You definitely want to really press it in, get it onto every little area of the nail. And then I'm going to be curing that in the light for a full 90 seconds on the Kiara Sky LED light. And of course, I added the Profiles Backstage Cuticle Oil to my cuticles, but that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.